Charlie, the first two games in Tomeralco, they were able to hold their opponents down to an average of 85 points. So it depends. Ha? They're really trying to slow things down. Nakita nga natin yung import, you know, uh, not in the best shape just yet. At uh, yun lang mas pupuntahan talaga nila. More of setup and then tatakbo lang yan when they have guys like uh, Dillinger and, uh, you know, Gary David. When these guys can actually run the fast break and fill the lanes and even a clip hodge. But on a general note, they want to keep the scores low because they do not have the same amount of uh, firepower the opponents do. Correct. Right. But it's a turnover for Raynor Sain. There's a foul on si Maverick Ahanmizi, who was protesting that goal. You know, he admitted to losing the ball, but he said, why are they here? Why are they But now back on defense are the white shirts. Jared Dillinger, who was the best player of the game, Nung uh, sa huling laro ng Meralco Bowl kontra sa Tokyo Tech and he hits a turnaround Jay right there. Not important ni Riza kanina. Medyo baka dehydrated siya dahil sila nga siya niya kagabi. Nasa hospital siya. Pero he looked good on that play. Well, usually mararamdaman mo yan come the second half. Pag medyo napapagod ka na. So that's a good start para kay Jared Dillinger. Usually when you come from the hospital o may sakit ka, napaka-importante nung simula mo. Limang puntos na para kay Maverick Ahanbisi. That's a three that he hit. That was brought to us by Oppo F1 selfie expert. So, si Maverick, eh, number three pick. Yan. So, matasa expectations. And he's played fairly well so far in his short PBA career. On the drive, Bo Belga. May pito. Sino matatawagan? JD ba o Gary? Either way, naging kakampiyan nila si Bo Belga sa Gilas at one point. Reason ng balita. Charlie from Coach Yangyao, sure they want to take advantage of their quickness over the balls. Ang problema, medyo a little out of control daw the last time, kaya nga nag-turnovers. Pinaalala na lang din niya na every time they face the balls, ay eh, laging dikit. So every possession would matter. So yung mga turnovers na yun, ay eh, kailangan malimit na nila. Charlie. Thanks a lot, Reese. Well, you know, now on this attack naman, ito si Maverick and Misi, he's making plays in this uh, first half so far. Seven points total already for him. Former Minnesota Golden Gopher. Dillinger releases from three, and he knocks it down. That's brought to us by Oppo F1 selfie expert. Oh, Charlie, in the first quarter, Meralco shooting 40% from the field. It took Raynor Sain only 22. Very uncharacteristic for the Elasto Painters. Jericho Cruz shoves it over to Maverick. Nako, on fire! Si Maverick Ahan Misi. That's brought, puntos na. that's brought to us by Oppo F1 selfie expert as well, Don. Oh, Maverick Ahan Misi, you know, these are Itong kagandahan dito sa Rainer Shine. Every game, everybody's just wanting to gain a little bit more trust from Coach Yang Giao. Talagang labanan sila. You know, they play a lot of scrimmage in their practice because Coach Yang Giao wants to get that feeling that everybody is competitive and sharp every game. Oh, ho, you talk about sharp. What a pass from Cruz and Bo Belga. Huh? Completing the alley-oop. Ah, okay ba? Umangat si Bo Belga doon. Eh, mukhang nagbawas din ng timbang eh. Ang ganda ng timing. And a nice hook up between the two guys. Two guys who played really well noong Philippine Cup para sa kanilang kumulang. Ngayon, galit yung bit naman. Sumasali sa three-point party. He's got five points in the game. And this is the thing. Last conference, yung itong Meralco, no? konting lamang, pag hinabol ng kalaban, tapos na. Naiiwan na sila. Ngayon, may fight back sila and they're maintaining that distance between them and the opponents. Panoorin natin, ito nga yung uh, Eye in the Sky play, cool play at brought to us by Hitachi. Three world-class innovations, one name in air conditioning, Hitachi. Si Jericho Cruz, isang breakout player. Naku, yan si, ano, yung import ng uh, Phoenix Fuel na naglaro ng kanyang unang uh, game sa PBA kanina. And, uh, well, they did win. They beat the NLEX Road Warriors. 118-106. Best player of the game was RR Garcia. 33 points lang naman. Lang naman. Oh, six three-pointers out of eight. So, maganda pinakita ng dating FEU Tamaraw. Not the only... Uh, Terrence Romy is not the only FEU Tamaraw who can put up 30 plus with six three-pointers. Sabi ni RR, kaya ko rin. That's a basket inside from Onuwaku. It's going to be very important how you pace itong si Onuwaku because obviously he's effective when he's there inside, when he's rested. But pag napapagod na, napansin natin yung first sit niya on the floor after about 8-9 minutes, napagod siya. So it looks like he'll have to work his way into shape. Right. 6.6 rebounds so far. Pero ito nga, free throws. Always a challenge for him, but he knocks that bonus one down. 
34-27, seven point lead. Now be heard with shouts. Just visit Sport5PH, look for the shout tab or column. And show your love to your PBA idols by voting yes on their shout profile. So far, Jeff Chuck guided the win and Iba Baojan. The shout now, not then on your screen. JD, Labas kay Karam. Karam once again saying, hey, Ford, baba ka muna, partner. Set up tayo ng opensa. Down to seven. They go back to Old Walker. He flipped it up and in. At yun yung wala sila dati. Yung nga, pag nag-drive yung kanilang mga guards or small forward, pag dish off dun sa malaki, na papasok pa din going for a layup. But now with Ono Waku, since he's so big, he's able to shoot over the opponents. What's the largest lead for Miralco? 9 yeah, points, 36 yeah, to 27. Yeah, Here's that play a while ago. Nice feed yeah, mula kay JD. Yeah, May compl completion naman. Mula kay Rinzi Ono Waku. Jericho Cruz looks out of sync on the miss. So ito, maglaro, matutot, manalo sa Moneyball. Dribble of the people. Dahil 3,000 pesos ang mapapanaluna ng ating Moneyball best player. Dribblers, makipindot na kayo. Charlie, the first four minutes of the second quarter have definitely been a lot quicker. Nakita mas mas aggressive yung uh, ating dalawang kuponan. We ended the first quarter 19 to 15. After four minutes, 36 to 27. Oo. Oh, ah, parang humahataw yung dalawang kuponan. Eh. Sabi nila, sabi kasi natin, low scoring kanina. Although that's a... Bad trip to the line from Cruz a while ago. Two misses. The lead pass goes to Trolliano, finishing the play. And things, when they become faster, that's to the advantage of Rainer Shine. You talk about Don Trolliano, you know, he is a great pickup for them. Uh, not heralded, coming out of college in Adamson. Was picked by Rainer Shine. If he didn't begin, he began to make a As so Jared gets a three. Again, the nice thing is, you can young running mate to Adamson. Na si Jansen Rios, mm -hmm. na line up na sa NLX, naglaro kanina. So, yung dalawang boys na yun, sila na ang bright spot ng Adamson that season and they were able to, to, to make it go here to the big league. JD, lots of confidence, snaking his way in. Uncharacteristic for Rainer Shine not to be able to stop the mga fast break points in uh, Meralco because they are quicker. But Meralco so far being aggressive, liking that they have a little bit of an advantage. Oh, good defense by Brian Bowen. That's right. Double digits na si Jared Dillinger, but you can see, medyo pagod, oh. Di pa nakakatawid. Finally, tumawid na ng timeline. Umatake naman ang import. Doesn't get it on the first try. Pakalawang beses, pasok na yung pagkakataon po mag three-point play. One thing for Rainer Shine, yung kanilang opensa, nag-step up na. Meaning, bumilis na, gumanda na. Pero yung kanilang depensa, wala pa. 43 to 29, 14 ang lamang. At si Onuaku, double-double na partner. 11 points, 10 rebounds for this big man. He's a Maryland native. At uh, yung mga free throws, ha? sinasabi niya, what are you talking about? Hindi naman hindi siya magaling sa line. Pero kanina, yung import uh, ng Phoenix, ha? Ang yun ang kinakailangan trabahuhin. Siya na, parang Adeleke. Adeleke. Oh, great move by Wade Chisholm. Ginamit na yung bilis niya. And that, that's the adjustment that uh, he will be making this conference. Because nga, bawal na yung dalawang bangga na magkadikit, yung kinakailangan. After isang bangga, iikutan mo na o lalampasan mo na. Eh, yeah, yun naman. Kung gusto mo ng bangga, Andre Fudge lagi ang kasama sa mga ganyang play. Cleaning up the miss of Anjo Karam and a chance for the three-point play. Meralco threatening to run away with this dito sa ating first half. A lot of offensive rebounds in the second quarter para sa Meralco. The second quarter has belonged to Jared Dillinger with 10 points. At yun namang si Onwaku, nakakawalo na. At kompleto na naman ang three-point play opportunity. Double digits na rin si Cliff Hodge. So you have uh, Onuwaku, Dillinger, and Cliff Hodge already in double digits for the Meralco Bolts. And they've already scored 28 points. Tama. Tamang mathematics. Rainer Shine naman, 16 pa lang. Kanilang may papasok dito. Mintis party na ni Trolliano mula sa Rainbow Country. Well, just a much smoother team right now in Meralco has been cleaning the offensive boards. Eight second chance points already para sa kanila. And 
Oh, the Waku once again, another basket. Karam setting the table. Uh, gotta give it to Andrew Karam. Hinahanap niya talaga yung kanyang big man. At itong si On Waku, makikita mo, visibly a little bit winded once again. But once he gets down, yeah, yun na nga eh. Pag half court, he's so effective. They do this and he rolls. Just let Wayne take him. Okay? Ikaw babalikan mo yung tao ni Wayne. Okay? So we'll just switch that. Okay? Just the middle Ang sabi nga Charlie ni Coach Norman, napakataas daw ng basketball IQ nito ni Arinzi Onwaku. He makes very good passes, he has very good decision making. At ang pag-alaman natin, hindi lang pala sa basketball mataas ang IQ nito. Kahit sa academics, very, very exemplary. Nung nag-college siya sa Syracuse University, I hope I got that right. Yes. Alam mo ba, from freshman up until senior, he's part of that Big East Conference all-academic team member. Kung baga ang mga grades nito, puro uno. At nung graduate, meron siyang recognition mula sa kanilang athletic director. Because he was playing and studying very well at the same time. So, kung basketball IQ, he's there. Pero off the court, eh, talagang matalino ng tao palito. Charlie. Thanks a lot, Risa. Well, wag lang siya sa tineyo kasi pag uno ka doon, pag sa kaya. Pati sa lasan, ganun din. Ah, ganun rin ba? Oh, eh. <laughs> baliktad. Eh. Baliktad, oh, baliktad. Oh, pero, pero, sa lasan, pero yun na nga, imagine academic all American sa. Then you're, you're so, which, which show you are really a student athlete. Kasi you're on the team student for four first. years. So, yun na nga. Oh, student first. Tapos four years siya naglaro. Eh. Diba? By the time he. Uh, Got to fourth year, eh. he was saw he the scout saw him already. Nakalaro na sa NBA ito. Alam mo ang kagandahan dyan, that means also na you're level-headed. At ang malaking chance na kung babalik-balikin ka dito sa PBA. Because, you know, when when you have the talent, but you're also responsible, ang kagandahan yan, you know, that's very attractive for the teams. Right. Especially like uh, Coach Norm Black, ang tagal na dito sa PBA, madami nang na-experience yan ng mga import. Character is a big thing nowadays, di ba? Dahil, you know, may basketball skills ka na, tapos kung okay ba yung character mo, di, mas desirable ka para sa mga kuponan. And now, it's a 20-point lead for the Bulls, and they have the ball. Onuwaku, inilapit pa. Bindi na kanyang hook shot. But Rain or Shine has a lot of catching up to do. Josan Nimes, pinasok na si Coach Yang Giao, trying to weave his way into the lane, draws a foul. Bukang Gary David ang matatawagan pangalawa niya yan. Ito si Wayne Chisim, hindi ba kaarangkada? You know, three points, pero three fouls na eh. Chan binalik na. Don Trolliano will sit. You got a glimpse of Ken Bono. Na nandyan sa loob. You know, he's been a practice player for several teams. You know, Hardy has gotten into the court. Saka, ano yan? First round pick ng San Miguel at that time. Alam mo, Alaska. Alaska, Alaska. Tapos lumipat siya ng San Miguel. Tapos lumipat siya ng Star Hot Shots. And now, Samiralco. And the Ken Bono, we cannot forget. Should not forget. That's a UAAP MVP. Oh, Adamson did that. Saka ang coach niya at that time, si Coach Luigi Rio. Oh, si Luigi. Tama. Paser, inside to Onuwaku. Eight to shoot. Gahanap ng papasahan, nakuha ni Hodge on the curl. Mintis, Bono the rebound. Ayun yung nadadala ni Bono, creating space under the basket. Tama ito si Ken Bono. He really just struggled with his weight. Kung magagawa niya, that he's able to lose a little bit more weight, be consistent, eh madami pang maibibigay yan para din sa Meralco Bones. Nakita mo na ba alam nito si Ken Bono? Oo. Pareho niya eh. Kamukha, kamukha niya. Grabe. Yan ang mini-me. Dito si Ken Bono. Kung hindi nyo pa nakikita mga kaibigan, ha? Sundan nyo sa Insta. Dito si Ken Bono. Nakikita nyo yung anak niya eh. Napaka-cutie pa eh nung batang yan. So turn it over to Risa Diaz once again. Charlie, napansin nyo na kasi siyempre yung bigat. Nakita nga natin, siyempre ginagawa naman ng paraan niya ni Ken Bono, sabi niya sa akin. But more of the weight, alam mo talaga ang tinatry din niyang ibalik ay yung kumpiyansa. Sabi niya siyempre matagal siyang hindi nakapaglaro. Suddenly, hindi na niya alam kung paano rin kumuha ng confidence. He's just very thankful for Coach Norman, Coach Luigi, na binigyan siya ng tiwala. So gusto niya ibalik yun. Charlie. Mahirap talaga yun ha, yung matagal ka na upo at hindi na line up. And you're working and working, at nagulat nga daw siya nung linayin up na siya. But, you know, basically what you have to do is, every day, in practice, you start on yung kopyansa. You try to beat in every single possession yung binabantayan mo, or yung bumabantay sa'yo. At ayun, nakakuha na ng puntos na naman itong si Ken Bono. That's how you work on it. You cannot just look at it na, sa laro lang ako magpapakita, kailangan sa ensayo, you work hard. And even, let's say today, maganda laro ito, sa susunod na ensayo, kailangan trabaho ka ulit. That's right. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang trabaho. And he knows that. I mean, he's been doing that for several years, yung trabaho lang ang trabaho. Nabigyan ng break. 
Three to shoot. Nimes going to get Chisholm. Short on the jumper. Yeah, that's going to be a dead ball. Because he's not going to be able to So side court, what's going to Something is wrong with the offense of the Reno Channel after Painters. Very uncharacteristically down by 24. We are not going to get shot if we are not aggressive going deep. If you're Rainer Sun, you want to close this gap bago matapos itong first half. You have 2.35 to try to do that. Pero ngayon, kailangan mong pisan dito sa defensive stance na ito. And Miralco, you see, more patient now on offense. Hindi niya mamadali. Inside to Onwaku. Mintis. Hodge almost got the offensive rebound. Pero ito si Chris Chu pushing it up. And who was there right behind him? Cliff Hodge. Nag-recover na agad. Tapik palabas. And now they have a chance to set up their defense. And si Cliff Hodge, para talaga may magnet sa bola eh. <laughs> There are players that are like that. The Abuevas of this world. It's not bad. There's no problem. Even if it's from end to end, side to side. They'll keep doing it. Reach in from Gary David. It's a huli. Our baseline referee. The third foul of El Granada. Free throw for him. Because the penalty is not the same. So Wayne Chisholm has a chance to find his stroke at the 4.5 meter line. Wayne Chisholm, three points, three fouls. He pa talaga makakusad kusad. Definitely will need to get things going for himself. One out of three from the free throw line. And a miss on the second attempt. The challenge naman para sa Meralco, you know, with, two, with about two minutes left in the first half, try to sustain this lead. Uh, in that second half, of course, Reynolds, you know, will be coming out like a house on fire pag na, pag na third quarter. And you expect them to, you know, to have a very intense halftime discussion. Uh, siguro, uh, nakita mo nga si Coach Yengio, parang hindi pa masyado nagagalit. Diba? Hindi pa. Asahan po pagdating sa halftime. Short na naman sa tres, itong si Wayne Chisholm. So you were talking about that strength, you know, losing all that weight. Iba yung stroke niya ngayon. Chris Newsom goes to Ken Bono. Bono faces out to Newsom. Newsom umatake. Iniwan para kay Onuwaku. Napakasimple nung galaw ni Onuwaku. Eh. Walang pinipilit. Nakita niya na, uy, may sasabay. One step. And he got that clear layup. Labing anim na puntos na para kay Rinzi Onuwaku. And there is a three. Mula kay Chris Chu. And they needed that badly. Five minutes and a half. Halos hindi nakashoot itong Rain or Shine. You know, they started out pretty well the first two or three minutes of the second quarter. Pero yun na nga, yung depensa talaga nila, bumagsak. And they just allowed Meralco to score. Baser from three. That's a miss, and here comes Jeff Chan. Josan Nimes ang nagpo-point. Iniwan for J.R. Quinyan, overshoots on the layup, and they get the ball back. Onuaku all alone on the other end. Boom! Uh, just too easy for Meralco. Rain or shine, just basically in disarray in the second quarter. Well, nice play right there by Chris Chu in attack and defense. Bago pa na setup. That's a layup from J.R. Kinyan. Ngunit 23 pa rin ang lamang ng Meralco. 32.2 na titira sa ating first half. Under 30 seconds remaining. In the first half, 59-36 po. Ayan, tamang score po. Yung nakikita nyo sa ilalim sa baba ng inyong screens. Amer goes to John Ferriol, seeing some first half action here, the veteran. Popov Tepa, dalawang taga Negros, nagbabakbakan, turn around, jumper, pasok, si Ferriol, instant offense ba? But just everything humming well para sa Meralco, yung kumpiyansa nila, napangganda. You know, they're moving that ball well, they're sharing it. Gusto sana sagutin ni Jeff, no go, at naubos na ang oras. Well, the score at the half shows that they're playing very well. We'll take a break. Magbabalik kami.